Hey guys, here playing Sync up against Reyna Headlock. So, I think we gotta keep this because we have two money cards and we have an ice, and that's about as good as it gets. Look at all my agendas. Don't think he would float right away. So both of these are where I can end the run ice, but this will at least punish him a little more on phase check. Nice turn on Desperado. Even at four influence, he's still playing it. And it's good. So we're going to get a lot of free access to this game, I think. Yeah, go and click four. Going to force the res while not losing any click and parasite it next turn. Seems good. On two cards rendering, both our sweeps useless. Oh man. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we should try to push here. Because we can't really afford to do it, is the problem. If he draws up to five, we can like sweep sweeps and install something. But having showed him the sweeps, he's going to try to keep his hand low. This is a tough, tough matchup for Sinks. You play Operation Economy that doesn't last. Isn't recurring like an Adonis or an Eve. It's one shot and it's hopefully enough, but in this case it's generally not. We pay five for Raven, he jacks out. Pretty hideous. So we're going to have to just gift again. Show him all our cards. And we can do a vital 50-50 with the Astro if we really want to. I'd rather have another end the run in front of that, if at all possible. Would he buy the... I don't know if he'd buy it or not. Let's see. Problems are pretty ice light. This list runs uh, 12 ice in 44 cards, which is not a lot of ice. With his daily cast, extra dollar to remove the tag. Yeah, he's gonna provoke the res and jack out. Fair. We gotta end the run after all, which is nice to have. I don't know if we'll play it on our remote or not. So we kind of need to stop giving him free accesses on R&D. Don't have any trashables. But he's still managing to pick some points here and there. A lot of labor. Fair. Nice. So I don't think he can break the Enigma this turn unless he's a surprise Yogg, in which case we're going to get to Astro Chain. If we can Astro Chain, that's our best hope. Because trying to score in the remote is not going to happen against this kind of deck. Yeah, the remote play I think is basically done. So he's just provoking the res again, which we still had a res. We can't let him have a free access again. Though it would have been okay in this case. On average, you don't want to let that happen. So with Jackson safe in our remote, that's a pretty good time for us. 
It's got a lot of money and I haven't seen the parasite come out yet. Data sucker, yep, it's good. Oh, this Archangel. Excuse me, this Archangel is not that exciting against David. I'm thinking about removing it entirely. It's just good against Shaper. If you don't have Cyber Cipher, it's so ginormous for Zoo to deal with. Show me something. The risk is he plays like Parasite, run Archives, run HQ, blow us up. If we play the Sand Sand now, it's too slow to score this turn. I think we just gotta commit to it. Botic Labor. Like a champ. And we'll let him pillage us as he desires. Neither of these are any good, but maybe the Raven's a little better. I got a feeling we're going to see Lamprey coming in. Oh, maybe he doesn't have it. Just getting tons of money. More than you can even use. The scrubber is so bad this matchup. He has to make a play though, or we'll be able to score the kitty. This is the problem with Reyna, is there's no native defense against uh, fast advance. Coming in for a pot shot, gonna pick off the Enigma. Which is good, but I think it's probably a turn too slow. Does he get the kitty? He does not. Tough luck, because if he picked that, we were in rough, rough shape. Because we spent a lot of money in Biotic. Our ices are not good at keeping him out. And could have gotten Lamprey online. So I think we, we just squeaked by. As much as it's enough, we won easily. We were this close to being uh, severely under the headlock. Thanks for watching, guys.